guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today so what i wanted to do today is just a little get ready with me vlog basically and i just wanted to chit chat um i am a stay-at-home working mom um i do work from home and i as well am a stay-at-home mom so i wanted to just get myself a little presentable for the day even though i'm literally in my pajamas and I'm not going anywhere. So I am going to just get myself just a tad bit ready. Um, just wanted to chit chat, I guess, um, just a little bit of what's going on as of recently. I got this um, Stanley dupe, I guess you could say. It's from Hydra, Hydra Peak and I love it so much. I wanted to get the Stanley cup, but it's sold out everywhere. I just got so fed up i didn't want to wait for it to be restocked so i got this one off amazon for 30 dollars and the um what is it the stanley cup is like 40 i believe somewhere around there they sell it at like starbucks um dick's sporting goods probably academy as well so um i just went ahead and got this one and i actually really do like it it is different but it does have like this beige neutral situation going on and that's my thing so i really do love it um i do i would say that um it doesn't keep water as cold as my yeti bottle because i did have a yeti bottle before this and i just don't think that it's as cold but it does still keep it cold um so i just wanted to talk about a little bit about i guess my weight loss journey i am on a weight loss journey to lose the last 20 pounds of my uh, postpartum weight and i have lost five pounds but i didn't really try so i went to the that's where it is i'm looking for this little tiny um what is this hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury so i went to the doctors recently just to um go ahead and get my physical done um, and that's just like a, a yearly thing if, if you're not familiar with that. It's just a yearly thing that you go and get your physical. Like the doctor just checks you like your heartbeat and stuff like that. And make sure that your uh, heartbeat is um, running, not running properly. But it sounds good and your breathing sounds good. And then they as well do blood work. They do lab work. And so I did that. And it turns out that uh, my thyroid specifically my TSH. I don't even know what that stands for, to be honest. I might have to put it on the screen or, or look it up. I'm sure it stands for thyroid something hormone, and that is a little low. It's not a little low. It's like pretty low, actually. I believe it was, the level was like 0 0.1, and it should be it should be, I think, 1 to 5 milliliters. And my test results were showing as um and i'm using nars and my test results were showing as as 0 0.1 so it's pretty low and you know i was just like looking into um thyroid issues and all of that stuff and like hypothyroidism and basically this can happen after pregnancy that your thyroid kind of goes a little haywire basically because you just had a baby and you're stressed out and so i knew i just wasn't crazy so whenever i got these test results back it kind of scared me in a sense but i knew that there was something wrong because i felt like a zombie all day pretty much and um, i had mood swings and i wasn't losing the weight even though i was actively trying to which was very odd to me. Like that in itself was just very odd that I wasn't able to lose the weight um, whenever I was actively trying. So basically what I started to do is I stopped working out. I stopped working out uh, fully um, just to stop, I guess, raising my cortisol levels because I didn't know if, if that was raising my cortisol levels. So I just stopped working out. Only time I would really work out for say is whenever I would take Luca on walks, I would go um, outside 
in the neighborhood and just um, take him in a stroller and just go on a walk with him. And that's pretty much the only time I would work out for say. I as well stopped having coffee first thing in the morning. And that is a very big thing that I feel like every woman does for the most part. We all do it. We all have coffee first thing in the morning and we need to stop doing that because that does raise cortisol levels. So I stopped doing that and I started to just drink water in the morning and I started to have like something that's high protein and something that I like to do because I don't have like the biggest appetite in the morning. I do have an appetite, but I don't have the biggest appetite in the morning. So I'll reach for a um, Greek yogurt cup and that's high in protein. And it's something that is, it's not like so, so sugary. Um, at least the ones that I get, it's, it's not too sugary. And that as well helped me to, I feel like a big, a, such a big difference in just doing those, those two, um, t those two things or changes to my life. And that really helped my energy levels. I did recently lose five pounds as well. So I think, you know, that is really helping my thyroid. Um, I hope that there's no issues going on with my thyroid. I did get uh, my doctor to write me a note to see a specialist. Um, I believe it's called endocrinologist, I believe is what they're called. And so she uh, referred me and I still have yet to make an appointment to see the doctor. Um, those two things ha definitely helped my energy levels because I did see that I was feeling zombie-like in the day and I wasn't having so much energy. So that really did help me um, get those energy, um, energy um, st stable, my energy levels stable. Um, something as well that I started to do is I started to focus on um, uh, minerals. So I am still taking my Oxy Shred. Let me get my mirror. I'm still taking my Oxy Shred greens. I'm sorry, I said Oxy Shred. I'm still taking my Oxy greens. And that does have a whole bunch of minerals in it because it has um, kelp and it has algae and it has prebiotics, it has probiotics. Um, so I am still taking that to help with my mineral supplementation. And as well, um, I do take magnesium glycinate, I believe this is how you pronounce it. So I am taking that. And just overall, I just feel a lot better because apparently this is a thing that does happen postpartum is that your thyroid can get really, I guess, messed up and your cortisol levels get really high because you are, you know, I guess, just taking care of a baby and you, you know, have to work or a baby can be stressful, you know? So I think that really did um, affect my thyroid and I'm actively making changes to um, better my, my health because I don't want this to go into basically like hypothyroidism. So I just don't want it to get to that point that um, I get diagnosed with something. So I'm actually taking steps to better that. So that is as well, like that, that was just a wake up call for me. I know I'm doing my makeup like all over the place, but it's okay because I don't really do my makeup too much. I love this stuff, by the way, this is rare beauty. I love rare beauty, but that was definitely like a wake up call for me to really take care of myself and like stop stressing out over everything. Even though I don't stress out over everything. Oh, Gatsby's over here. What's up Gatsby? It was definitely such a wake up call for me and I'm trying not to stress myself out and just be less moody because I really do have mood swings and um, I do really get like, I guess, in a sense, like kind of depressive episodes. And I really am trying to be proactive to um, help myself um, feel better just mentally and physically because um, yeah, your thyroid could affect your health. Your, it could affect, obviously it can affect it. It could affect like, your, your mental and physical. And I knew that there was something going on. I knew I wasn't crazy 
to um, think that, you know, the, the weight just isn't falling off because, you know, I'm postpartum, but I'm, I'm inching on a year now. I'm 11 months postpartum and I'm inching on a year. I knew that there was something going on. Um, and that's why I want to go do my physical, even though I do it every year. Um, I just wanted to, of course, make sure that everything was okay. Where's Gatsby? I don't think I can see him. He's back there. That's probably what you hear. But I, it was such a wake up call just to, you know, be proactive and um, eat better, take care of myself better. I still am not working out. I don't know when I'll work out again, but um, probably might go into it softly, do like um, probably like walking, just walking or um, weightlifting or some sort of Pilates because there's Pilates for free on YouTube. You could just YouTube some sort of Pilates workout and there's a whole bunch of free stuff. I love YouTube for that reason. You know, you could have so much stuff for free. And I think I might just go into it slowly, but right now I, I feel good. I feel really good. My energy levels are so much more better and so much more just, I just have better levels throughout the day. It's not like, it's so hard for me. It used to be hard for me to get out of bed, you know, for Luca. I it used to rely on Sean to just get up and um, get Luca ready for the day, you know, change his diaper and, and all that. And now I feel so much better that I could get up. So this is your sign that if, you know, you're feeling, you know, no energy or um, brain fog in a sense, feeling like a zombie um, and you're not losing weight, maybe you're just not really taking care of yourself. Even though I felt like I was taking care of myself, I don't think I was properly eating right to get the proper nutrition and like mineral uh minerals that i needed in my diet i think that's probably it and it's okay to supplement if you need to supplement you need to supplement you know because it's impossible for us as humans to get everything that we need from food it really is uh, whether you are you know a holistic individual you could be as holistic as possible. It really is. It's impossible to get every single nutrient that you need from your food. Um, so I don't feel bad um, supplementing because I need to. And I feel so much better. And I, I mean, I'm not mad at, you know, the world that we live in where we could do that. So this is just your sign. If you are feeling like the same way that I am and you're not really losing weight maybe there could be some sort of issue with your thyroid because I would have never ever thought that there's something up with my thyroid let me do some lip liner I love this lip liner by the way I got it from I think I talked about it on my channel before I got it from the flip app and it's about face and I want to order another one another color um, because this one it's pretty dark and I kind of want a lighter one at least for my skin tone oh I need to sharpen it I love it though it's very pigmented and it stays on for a long time I know that like I'm doing my makeup all types of crazy, but I'm not a makeup guru or makeup artist. So please don't come for me. This is just a quick get ready with me in a sense, even though my hair still looks crazy. Just to feel like somewhat myself while I'm at home. My hair actually looks decent, even though I went to sleep with it wet last night and you are not supposed to do that, but it looks okay. I'm actually getting a haircut on Sunday, so I am excited to cut some sort of the length off because it is pretty long. 
I just want to cut some sort of the length off, maybe more layers, like short and long layers, maybe some face framing layers, but we'll, we'll see. I've as well been thinking about coloring my hair. I love the black on me. I just think like my natural hair color, like it looks good, you know, but I don't know, maybe I should get some like some highlights or something or like lighten up my hair with like some brown just to bring that, that, that nice like, because you could see more of like your curls and stuff like that with, with highlights or color in your hair. So I don't know. I've been thinking about it. Okay, so this is my really quick get ready with me at home. Oh, I didn't put any eyebrow gel in my eyebrows, but it's okay. This is just like everyday look. This, uh, my lipstick as well, I got like for Christmas from my in-laws. And it's by Lancome. It's a cute little pinky color. Um, it's not like matte or anything. It's just like a regular lipstick, but yeah, uh, Lancome lipstick. Um, but yeah, this is just like my little sit down vlog, little get ready with me. Um, that's kind of an update. I'm like, I'm happy that like, I feel better. Um, it is a downer that there is something wrong with my thyroid and I will go see a specialist and see what's going on. Um, but I want to be very proactive with my health and make sure that, I am going to get my levels back to normal or uh, make my symptoms, um, you know, okay and not, you know, how it was before. I feel so much better. So, you know, if you're watching this, um, take care of your health. And if there's something wrong, go to the doctor, figure out what it is. Um, take action. You can't just expect to take a pill because they can um, give me, I believe it's a steroid to get my levels back. But um um, I'm not seeing a specialist just yet. If I do need to do that, I would want to, but as well, you need to make changes in your everyday life to make sure that your symptoms are at bay basically. And yeah, like you could take a pill, but that's not going to cure it. That could just, um, basically make it go away for a meantime and then I'll come back. So, um, this is your sign to take care of your health because that was a slap in the face and a big wake up call for me. So yeah, um, just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about that. Just a little update, but at least I'm losing weight. It's not the, the you know, the biggest, you know, biggest thing in the world that I'm losing weight, but I knew that there was something wrong. And so now I'm actively understanding, taking steps and um, yeah, I feel better mentally for sure. I feel better. I don't feel like a zombie all day. So um, that is today's video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much.